in the next five fields, you can set up whether system needs to move comments from one document to another. So for example, when you put some comments on purchase order, after posting, it will move to the invoice or to the receipt. Just to show you, you can put some comments in here for each document. You can put as many comments as you want. Okay. Let's come back to our settings. Exact cost reversing mandatory means that when you do some corrections, for example, purchase credit memo, you have to show inbound entry for it. So you cannot just post credit memo on the warehouse you have to show the receipt, for example, for it. If not, system will not, you, will not let you post the document. Two other fields are connected with prepayments. We will deal with them later. Default posting date and default quantity to received both have some influence on purchase order. The first is based on posting date so system will use work date when creating new posting date new new purchase order you can choose no date with this system will leave it blank in the next field you can tell what quantity should be put in quantity to received on purchase order let's try how those options work so with this settings, when we create new purchase order, I will create new and I just put the vendor number. System will automatically put the posting date the same as our system work date. And with quantity to received option when we put item let's have some of those with quantity 122 system put quantity to receive and quantity to invoice the same as quantity if we change the settings for no date so no posting date will be added into the purchase header and here when I go with blank system will leave those values blank so let's check it on new purchase order I will quickly create one okay now we have posting date blank and if we put some items in the lines and some quantities you will have quantity to received and quantity to invoice empty. In the next option, you can put the date before this date system will let you to delete posted documents. In the next field, when it's checked, system will ignore any changes on the address on the purchase documents. When it's off, system will ask you if you want to update the data on the item on the vendor card on the next tab you will find all the numbering series connected with purchase module so you will find vendor numbering series some pre-posted documents so we have quotes blanket orders as well as posted documents so we have posted invoices credit memos and so on if you want to connect one, more than one numbering series for each, for example, if you want to connect two different or three different invoice numbers for invoices, you will need to use relationships. Using this option, you can connect one of the numbering series with others. So if I choose purchase invoice numbering series 
for invoices, I can create more different numbering series and connect it with, with it in here. So now if I create new purchase invoice, I can choose with two different numbering from, from the list. Next step will tell you about the background posting. You can set up the system to post documents when the user is off the system. In archiving, you can choose whether to archive or not quotes, orders, blanket orders and return orders.